you guys. So I'm going to read um, Egyptian Puzzle Time first. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Thank you, my little subscribers. I love and appreciate each and every one of you all for having faith in me to be of help to you all along your spiritual journey. Um, I appreciate you very much, my little subscribers and my new subscribers. Thank you and welcome. And people that's viewing my channel for the first time, I welcome you and hope you can get something from here. I do something called Egyptian Puzzle Time, so I want to go ahead and read that. Thank you, guys. So, here's what I pulled out. So, somebody out here, you're a guru. And a guru is from Hindu, you know, this is from Hinduism, you know, gurus. And, and you're somebody that teaches your, um, you, you teach your students about their spiritual process okay so i mean maybe you're all saying that about me and that's okay you know and you know um these gurus in hinduism it's like a fire god do you know what i'm saying so you could be someone who uses sage also like i do uh you know and so let me get into it so guru is telling somebody out here if your name is Tim, and it's funny because in my let my card that I wrote, you'll see in a minute, it could hit home to somebody. So Tim and Jenny, Tim and Jenny are falling i just don't have ing but they're falling f-a-l-l -L. they're falling in their home h-o-m-e because they're sots s-o-t drunks that's what that means a sot is a drunk and um, they're getting ready to receive a c-a-l-l -L during the d-a-y someone's getting ready to receive a call here in the daytime so i mean that's that's basically what i got so if y'all know anybody named tim or jenny i think they get drunk during the daytime that's what it's saying that's why salt pulled out their their salts they fall all the time in their home and they're going to receive a call maybe from maybe from a police or something during the daytime so y'all better pay attention to what i'm telling you your name's Tim and Jenny. You need to quit drinking so much during the damn daytime at your home because you're gonna you're gonna fall down and you're getting ready to fall and people's you might have to go to jail or something. You'll see in a minute, but somebody you're gonna receive a call during the daytime and Guru right here, Guru over here, me, Guru's telling you on this one. All right, so then what I pulled out it says. Uh, a aunt could be involved in this situation and a brother uh they followed you from a past life this is a past life relationship so they they followed you around from other lives just to come back and mess with you and that could have been your aunt and uh brother's name if you know a Tim and jenny so if you do please hit subscribe i love you guys and there's a positive change coming to you guru and karma is working in your life and in your favor at the moment because uh, you're teaching these people because this man and woman this aunt and brother they just want you to stroke their ego and that shit ain't happening over here so if you think i'm going to build you up i'm not so let's get out of the ego you're teaching them to get out of their ego and they're mad at you and now they're doing magic on you they think that that's funny to do magic on you and your partner because uh, you and your partner has the ability and the potential to change the entire world because you all lived infinity love you infinity your, your partner loves you infinity and um whoever is um a man or woman is that whoever this man is that loves to watch football or they might have played football you know they could have they play, could have played college football or something this person is pissed off and they're getting ready to explode, okay? They're, they're so pissed, they're getting ready to explode. And, and, and now, 
Uh, he knows when you're home and he wants to come break in and harm you. Are you listening? They're watching you through uh, through your, if you got sliding glass doors or your windows are open, they're watching you through them. Are you listening? And they're pissed off because you didn't have a threesome with them. That's all it is. Uh, if somebody was, they was already married or in a relationship already and whoever they are, they're a damn liar and they didn't want you to know. They just wanted to use you for sex. Did you listen? And, uh, and remember, the devil will send people to block you from receiving your blessings from the divine and will make you reject an offer from God. Are you listening? So, um, so, so what pulled out is an aunt, a brother, and whoever this person is that wanted to bring you in for a threesome. They followed you from past lives into this life to try to fuck up your relationship with your partner because you all have the potential to change the entire world and y'all live in infinity. That's why they're mad. They're mad that they can't break in and harm you. That's all it means to you guys, okay? Let me put these up and uh, see what else comes out, okay? So it is almost going too fast, one day or one week. Pay attention. Pay attention to the time, like I just said, okay? Maybe you had to, maybe you moved away from this person that was married since higher phone come out. Maybe you realized they was married and you moved away from them. You know it? But they're in nostalgia. They can't stop thinking of you, collective. They can't stop thinking of you. Somebody. Let's see what pulls out, you guys. What pulls out? What's, what's a collective need to know? What about this person that's already in a relationship? Or what about aunt and brother? What do you want to talk about, Scott? Well, oh, they're up in their head, oh, they can't stop thinking about whatever they did to screw you over, they, that their brain is, they just, it keeps replaying over and over, you know, like how, how they wanted to have you kept it, yeah, oh, uh, looky here, and a hangman come out, and, you know, uh, you, you went through a total metamorphosis, uh, through breaking patterns uh, of staying up in your head, you you let go and you're going through a period of transition at the moment and and uh, you know you, you have to give up something to gain a fresh perspective. Yeah. So so maybe you finally give up on this person, whoever it was that you was up in your head about. Okay, that's what it means. So now you got a new perspective. You got a new perspective on your happy family life, you know, and or it could be that um, somebody in your family is up in their nightmares. But I just think it means that you got out of this way of being stuck up in your head over goofy shit. You know what I mean? And and you gained a fresh perspective about your family and how special it is, you know. And that's why it come out infinity. You all loved each other infinity. See, your person is a, it could be a king of cups, a cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, man, but it doesn't have to be, or a woman. Um, all it's saying is, uh, you're very loving and kind and empathetic and sharing and strong and in love. You're in love, you know, you're, you're, you're in love with whoever your partner is out here, at, and if you're married to them, you're and you love your family, you, you love it, you're all happy. Um, you could be in love with a, a Virgo or an air sign, uh, you know, that's a magician card, but you don't have to be, it doesn't have to be, it's just saying that, you know, your, your, king, your, your partner loves you big and they know you're alchemizing um, something that is going to help grow your family legacy. Oh yeah, someone, this king of cups out here, he might be alchemizing uh, or your partner sees that you're uh, alchemizing being a spiritual mentor, you know, or, and that could be a Taurus, you know, that's that energy, uh, let me pull out some more, what under, well, what else beside how I'm going to, uh oh, devil, I'm going to put that right there, devil, what under hangman, what under hangman, what under hangman, oh, wow, 
that out. Okay, what, what on earth? Oh, oh, okay. That way it is. What on earth can you drop? What on earth can you drop? Oh, well. Oh, well, well, well. And what on earth magician? What, what, what about magician? Now? Tell, us, tell us what it means. Damn, you guys. What about magician? What do magician need to tell about? I don't know. What do you want to tell us? Oh, 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 okay, okay. What about how for what, what about it? Oh, spirit, you flipped it good. Oh, okay, okay. So, what it's saying is, let me get a little drink, guys. So, what it's saying is, uh, this person that's up in her head, if you got a brother or an aunt that's a Capricorn devil, they're up in their head, they in their nightmares at night, um, this person can't stay out of their mind because uh, they're addicted to drugs or, you know, they're they're tied to each other from the devil. Uh, you know, they can't get out of their devilish ways. Uh, they could be practicing a devil. They could be a devil worshiper doing shit on you at the moment. And um, they're trying to keep you stuck tied they're trying to keep you stuck in your head no uh -uh. but you know this got illuminated to you. you you got a new perspective uh of, of of why maybe you kept feeling this way was because of this capricorn are you listening that could be your brother like i just said um or your or this aunt that followed you from that past life you you're going to receive uh accolades in the community uh for your stable, loving, caring family, you and them are going to receive accolades in the community because of your good works. You, you're having a victory with this this family, and uh, you know you're somebody that sits at the top of the wheel. You're, you're, this is about you you receiving good karma. And these snakes, see the snake and these devils, they can't get to you. They can't get to you because if you're like me, I have I'm an Aquarius. I have a Taurus rising. My Scorpio is in my 10th house. And, I mean my, you know, my Scorpio's in my 10th house. And my Leo is my North Oak. Okay? Telling you. And I know I have good karma because we sit, we sit around the thrones. That's what that means. We're to keep our knowledge. See the little books? It's you guys. If y'all got all that in your chart, you're very fucking special. And that's why a lot of people don't want you to get around a spiritual community because they're jealous because they don't have that way like you do. Uh, they don't have that in their birth chart, and it pisses them off. And, but it's okay. They, they can't do nothing. They can't stop it. That's why this come out. You overpowered the devil. See? 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 That's why you got good karma. I did. I overturned that devil. And, and your partner, they love you so big. And, and they was feeling a little wounded, you know, and hurt for, you know, things you did to them. You, you know, you might have been up in your head or somebody else, and they forgive you. They forgive you, okay? And, uh, you know, and, and you know, if you're like me and my old man, we're both magicians. Oh, yeah, we're both magicians. And, uh, you know, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're making your, you're making your life. You're showing others how to, how to do this. You're alchemizing it. And, um... This little page of pentacles somebody wants to offer you a little opportunity okay and that can just be a opportunist and and you're saying look i'm a true magician you little opportunist that is a taurus and if you mess with me i'm going to show you my true magical powers because they're opportunist taurus that's why it come out right there that, that they're the ones that's wounded. It's little wounded warriors. It's Taurus opportunist. And you're saying you better stop. I'm a true magician. See it? Infinity sign. Infinity just come out while ago that you and your partners been with each other. Infinity, I told you it's true. And that's my cards. I'm going to steal it. And, and, uh, if I, and if I keep trying to fuck with your marriage, it's Taurus. Um... You're going to take out that sword and chop them right down at the kneecaps. That's what it means, you know. You're someone who's very loyal and, and use your uh, logical brain. And, you know, uh, this could also be the law is watching these people that's messed with you. They've heard your story and, you know, they're taking care of it. That can also be what it means. So you're getting ready to see good karma. You're getting ready to see good karma. Don't worry. 
you're gonna get some money coming to you from these little opportunists trying to steal for you. You're gonna get people that's going to uh, give you some, give you an opportunity out there for something else, you guys. I don't know what it is. Because you moved away from doing dumb shit. You and your person. That's what it means. Now, let me get you some real quiet messages. Okay, so it says somebody's going to pass away from all the spell work and they put a demon attachment on you through sex. No worries, God has taken them out. So whoever this person was that put spells on whoever's partner this is, you ain't got nothing to worry about. God's taking them out. Keep throwing your shade and it will only make me become a stronger woman or man. That's what you guys are saying out here. If I keep throwing her shade, it's just making you stronger. And, and you got to get rid of that lion ice piece of shit mask one. He's not worth it, honey. Somebody out here has got a lion piece of shit mask one. Ooh. Could have been that brother of yours is a lion piece of shit mask one. And when love shines on you from above, God brings to you the one you love. The love brought forth is a heavenly symphony that brings nothing but unwavering empathy. That's a poem by me, Pamela. Nobody's stealing it. And, you know, the grass is always greener where you water it, okay? And I'd like to karate chop your dang head right off your neck for all the slandering of my character. These people that throw shade at you because you're a strong person. <laughs> These people that keeps throwing shade at you in the tarot community and in real community, all it does is make make your sh character stronger. They don't understand. 
and, and you need to get rid of lying piece of shit, you know, and especially if you're a, you're the dreamer, a new start, trust yourself, push your fears, and take a leap of faith. You know. It says, I've gained wisdom from all my family that's passed over. They tell me when I'm being lied to or if someone is going to die. Did you hear that? Yeah. That's why it's landed underneath me, Pam. You know. And uh, I am a good damn uh, judge. Yeah, I am. And uh, don't be stuck in indecision. Use your intuition as to what is the best route to take in all aspects of your life. Yeah. If you're a dreamer, you got to get real lying piece of shit. And all the sex they were having with the karmics was making Divine Masculine go crazy and didn't want to come forward. Did you hear that? So they're throwing shade about. They're throwing shade to somebody out here because you're a strong woman or man and, you know. And Divine Masculine was having sex with crazy people. That's what it means. And this shit is really beneath me. <laughs> and uh, there's unfinished business in the mix. And listen, there ain't no damn woman, a good woman, that wants a man that's non-committal. So keep on moving, bro. So somebody's divine mask on wasn't com committal, and you just stop worrying about him. And you're a, you're a beacon in the fog, a huge help to people. You're their guiding light. See, trying to help you. Don't be stuck in indecision. Use your use your smart mind. That this man wasn't a good man. Uh, he fucks karmics all the time. And that shit is really beneath you to go after someone that doesn't want you. The grass ain't always greener on the other side. Are you listening? Can you please consider my emotions? I'm a good damn judge. Can you please consider my emotions and how you're all lying and acting like I did something to you all when I'm proving to you to some of these readers out here that they is the one did something to me. One, one reader did it. Two of them, actually, two. I ain't even listened to that other one in so long. I don't even worry. And their energy is stagnant because there's unfinished business. It's more complicated than you think. It's more complicated than you think. You pay store sun is always fighting for your protection daily from spiritual warfare because you are you help these people. You're their guide and light. You're their guru. Remember, I said that earlier. And someone is pulling the wool over your eyes because you're a good damn judge and you, and you know it. You know it. And you're shining more brightly now since you saw your light. Now for yourself, you were, you were doing yourself. Yeah, yeah. That's why people was pulling a wall over your eyes and they ain't no more. And these people do chants every day on you and even blood magic. Don't eat their food. Are you listening? Lying piece of shit. Dreamer, this lying piece of shit wanted you to be stuck in indecision because they know you're a beacon and in the fog and helping these people and you're their guiding light and your place over sun's telling you that you got protection from all this spiritual warfare and all these chants. Are you listening? I do have a past over sun, so that goes with me too. Uh, look to the stars at night and ask the question and God will reveal the answer within minutes, but you have to be connected to the source and pray a lot, you know. You need to go outside and get back to your roots. This will help heal yourself and get back on track, people. That's why your energy's stagnant. Go outside today, public servant. Go outside today now, public servant, and get you some damn sunlight. And be happy for this moment. This moment is your life. Okay? It says, I, you're very passionate about life and love. Yeah. I saw your son knows, knows it. And you're like, don't kiss and tell little boys. Don't kiss and tell little boys. This, this divine feminine is not going to let you get away. Remember, where's the evidence at? Got to have it or don't run off at the mouth. See, these people uh, run their mouth about you a lot if you was a public servant like I was. And, and that shit was really beneath me. I didn't like that. But it's okay because uh, all this unfinished business is getting ready to get took care of. And I'm buying my ass is fixed. He can't have any children anymore. Get it right, hoes. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you the truth about my old man. Saturn return is coming around to bless you big time. I know it is. Thank you for that spirit. This man just wants to hook up with you and nothing else. Yeah, yeah, because he's a lionized piece of shit. He's not working time, and these women and men managers, they ain't making money off of you anymore. And you know how to bring money in for yourself and your family. Yeah, yeah, I do. Dear Saturn retrograde, it's happening. Oh, I mean Saturn return. Thank you for that. This person sits back and studies everything you're doing because you're a star shining brightly. And you're forever blessed with knowledge, love, God, and hands, healing hands, and you got a worker spirit, and, and, and they can't, and you're a legend, I'm a legend, and you're a legend, you good people out here, 
You, and you're getting ready to live in the good life now, play play. And these people was foolish, f -f -f foolish to say a bunch of shit about you. It was f -f foolish, cause now they're going to, ooh. And hey, when I was young, I saw a man die in church and the church people didn't even get him help. Yeah, I went to a Pentecostal church all growing up. Uh, well, and then my mom, they would switch around, go to Baptist, but mostly it was Pentecostal. But anyway, I was letting you know, this man was in our dying of a heart attack, and he just turned blue. Me and my brothers was like, is this man dying? Is he dying? Is like, no, he got the Holy Ghost. Well, the Holy Ghost took him out, but I guess that's the best way to go. I'd like to die like that one, you know? <laughs> but what the hell y'all want now? See, I've seen a lot of shit. Nobody's stealing that story. Do you want to steal that story, too? Oh, these people's going to be caught and brought to justice for all the torment and torture that they've done to you and your spirit. <laughs> you throwing your shade. You're going down. I've done it. Unlock that beast that's way down inside of me. Oh, and you guys have to. And, and you're like, what the hell do y'all want now? This man just wants to hook up with you and nothing else. And he likes to kiss and tell he's a little boy. And, you know, you're somebody that's very passionate about love and life. And, uh... You're happy for this moment. This moment is your life. You did see somebody die at church. It was foolish of them not to pay attention to you young kids that was saying, Hey, that man's dying. Uh, divine masculine can't have... Some, some of your all's divine masculines is fixed and they can't have kids anymore. And you're like, hey, remember, where's the evidence at? You gotta have it or don't run out like the mouth about this public servant. Um... There's unfinished business in this mix, and this shit is really beneath me because uh, they like to uh, run and talk and blab, and they didn't have nothing on you except a bunch of blab. Go outside and get to your roots. That's why your energy's stagnant. The grass is always greener where you water it, and somebody's going to pass away from all the spell work that they that they put that they've done on you and they put and they've tried to put a demon attachment on you through sex but no worries god has taken them out so somebody out here tried to latch a demon on you and they're going to be caught and brought to justice so keep throwing your shade and it will only make me become a stronger woman or man whoever's listening and uh you'd like to karate chop their dang heads off right now uh, from their neck for all the slanting of my character and your all's character and all the sex they were having with karmics was making Divine Masculine go crazy and he didn't want to tell you his truths, you understand, or come forward. And you're somebody that looks to the stars at night for your guidance and God gives you an answer and it's more complicated than you think. Listen, they ain't no damn woman that's a good woman that wants a man that's non committal, so keep on moving, bro. Get rid of that lion piece of shit, masculine. He's not worth it. Yeah, yeah, that's what we did. Lion masculines, that's what y'all need to do, okay? Don't be stuck in indecision. Use your intuition as what is the best route to take in all aspects of your lives. Are you listening? Dreamers, listen to me. You're a beacon of light for these people. And these people, it does chance over you. Your place that were son is uh, stabbing them in their night, ne stabbing them in the neck at night. He protects you daily from all his spiritual warfare and he's he's really getting on their eyes. And, and when love shines on you from above, God brings to you the one that you love. The love brought forth is a heavenly symphony, symphony that it brings nothing but unwavering empathy. And what about me, Pamela? You've gained wisdom from all your past over family. They tell you and warn you when something's going to happen. And you are a good damn judge. If you're like me, I am. And, and can you please consider our emotions? And we know somebody is trying to pull the wool over our lives because you're shining more brightly now since you saw your light. Now yourself, you, because you were doing, you was doing your light. And divine feminine is not going to let you get away. And during Saturn return, big blessings is coming, babe, babe. And you'll be living the good life now, you know. And you are a legend. And you're forever blessed with knowledge, love, guiding hands, healing hands, and working spirit. And this person sits back and studies everything you're doing, and they write it down, and they write it down. Like, how do I figure out? You can't. And uh, you women and men managers, uh, or people that's, you women and men tarot readers, you ain't, you ain't making money off of me anymore. I know how to bring money in for myself, my family. You're not telling my stories or my work in real life. Hey, listen. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I hope that helps somebody out there. Somebody need to get something from that and take it and really pay attention to it. And I love you guys, and I hope this helps. And 
Go ahead and hit a little like, subscribe, and share, you guys. I need the help, and I appreciate you very much. You, you know it, and I thank you. And peace, and somebody loves you big. They love you infinity. Remember collective, so make sure to get this reading around. It's going to help the collective. I love you guys, because I actually bring out cards that make sense, so you will heal. It ain't all about sex over here, okay? All right, peace.